Hey guys, welcome back. And welcome to the episode where Rev makes a bunch of different colored UV resins. So I'm out of a few, or very close to being out of a few, so I figured I'll make more and show you how, you do, how I do it. So I have my orange, black, gold, green, and red. So I only have four of my little silicone cubby doodles here, so uh, you, know, you can see how I do the most. And first of all, i got to get this little... Every time I make the red, I'm like, oh, I need to clean that off. And then I never do it. So what I do basically is dump out whatever is left in there. So that way I don't have multiple shades of color sitting together to where they run the risk of not uh, curing correctly or uh, not mixing correctly. But also it kind of gives me a visual idea of how much I need to make. So once I've got that in there, this, this bottle. I've got my clear UV resin over here, okay? So, and it's almost empty, so this is also an opportunity to use what is left in this bottle. Alright, so there's that. Next, we'll go to green. This is starting to get to be red and green season already Christmas stuff in the store, which I just think is ridiculous, but you know, hey, I am not a marketing expert by any stretch of the imagination. Alright, so there's green. Go in with the clear. Pardon the spitty noises. <laughs> this is so funny, I'm sorry. Okay, so there's green. I know somebody's going to come up at me in the comments and say, well, why didn't you just take the squirt top off and just... Well, because I don't want to run the risk of accidentally dumping too much in there. Because I know me. And I will. Well, all that spitting is just causing bubbles. Well, me stirring it's going to cause bubbles too, so I'm really not worried about it. Bubbles happen. All right, so while we are letting, I'm going to turn that bottle upside down so it just all runs to the bottom, and then we're going to grab our fresh, fresh bottle of UV resin. Let me grab my colors. All right, now what I use to make mine is alcohol ink. So um, I have my about alcohol inks here. So I have bright red. I have green, I have golden metallic, and then I have orange. So, the one thing you have to realize about making your own uh, UV resin is you have to be very careful about making the color too strong so that um, there's a possibility that the UV resin will not cure. Uh, so, there's that to be cognizant of up when making your own UV resin colors. So start with less and then work your way up. So I'm going to do one, two drops. One, two. No, with the metallic I'm adding three because metallic 
uh, alcohol ink is just by and large a lot more sheer than uh, solid colors. One, two, orange. Okay. And I have my tiny mixing spatula of choice. So there's those. Gonna let them sit for a sec, see what they look like. I need to continue to stir my gold. And I'm tempted, tempted to add a tiny bit. And yes, I see the spot in there. I know somebody's in there going, get this back. Okay, I'll get this back. There you go. Speck gotten. I'm tempted to go in with a little bit of yellow. Uh, in the gold, just to uh, beef up the color a little bit. Golden yellow. I'm just going to go in with one drop of the golden yellow, just to just to flavor it up a little. Okay, brilliant. Now I'm not going to worry about bowls, blowing, blowing off any bowls or anything on these, because I'm just going to be pouring them back into their little containers. So what's the point, right? So let me move these little duders over, get them out of the way. So hopefully you'll be able to see what that bleepity bleep I'm doing. And we're going to start with our red. Before I risk knocking over a brand new full bottle, put the cap on. There you go. Next. If you're wondering how to clean these out, don't bother to spray them with alcohol and wipe them down and everything like that. It's UV rhythm, guys. It's sticky and it's gross and it's disgusting. So, um, those are real sticky things, in my opinion. But, because the easiest way to get UV resin out of these little pots is to cure it. I'm going to take my UV lamp. I'm going to cure this. Cure all these little guys under the lamp for two minutes. And I'll see you back. Okie doke. It's been two minutes. Now, another thing you'll find and this being uh, Halloween season, uh, you should appreciate this. There's also an, an interestingly cool side effect of doing it this way and curing it in the pot. And here's what I'm talking about. When you peel out the UV resin, there we go, out of these little if you have these little round silicone doodads, and most, most of us do, when you peel it out, it makes these really cool shapes. Does anybody remember the thunder uh, thunderstorm coaster that I made? Um, well, this is how I made the, the lightning. Um, so you peel it out, and you get these really awesome shapes. Put these in your projects, man. Make something cool out of them. You know, look at the shapes. You you know, when we were kids, we, or I'd still do, look at clouds and find shapes in the clouds and 
you know, the parathenia that you, you see things that aren't really there. Uh, you see shapes and things, faces and whatnot. See, look at that. Look how cool that is. It looks like. Oh, I just got an idea. Oh, I just got an idea. Let's get the green out. Let me know down in the comments if you can already read my mind on what I want to make. Look at that one. That's really cool. All right. Last but not least, the orange. That is wicked. Okay. So, now that we've got these out. <laughs> Bonus! Look at this. Okay, I'm going to scoot you in a little bit. Whee! Okay. How cool would it be to take the yellow, the red, and the green, stack them on top of each other, and look what you got there. You got a little bonfire. Look at that! You got a little bonfire happening. Oh, that's so cool. See? What gave me um, the idea to tell you guys about this is because I made some uh, caramel in some black uh, earlier, and look at these. They turned out looking like little pumpkins. How cool is that? So yeah, find art in everything. Everything is beautiful. You just, you just gotta choose to see it. So anyway, that's our little project for the day. I hope you enjoy it. Um, let me know down in the comments if you enjoy seeing stuff like this. You know, you to pull a starship, starship Troopers. Would you like to know more? Uh, you know, if you enjoy seeing stuff like this, oops, sorry, let me know. And because I, I enjoy experimenting, you guys know this. I like making weird stuff into cool stuff. Or vice versa. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. And uh, I hope to see you again really, really soon on the next one. Take care, guys. Cheers.